All right, so when you install, uh, this is the rear pads wrong. This is what happens. Now check out this design. This is your rear drum. This particular one has a cross pattern and see how the rust is where the drum hits the piston. The piston hits the brake. And there's the pin. The pin does not get hit. You see that? Nice and smooth. Now here is what it looks like when it's installed wrong. Notice that your only rust mark is right there. And the piston was turned this way. See? The piston was turned this way. And your pin is crushed. Crushed. And look at the pads. The pads are worn this way. And then this was the opposite brake. This is the opposite brake. And you notice something on the opposite brake? Notice there's a line up here. How this... It's shaved here and up here... It doesn't look used. Well, this was the pad on this side. And you see that the pad was not touching up here. So it was only clamping down here. Now this side was fine. It's just that the pad was on an angle. was on an angle see how it's on an angle and your wear mark is on this side so that would have been real bad well not bad you're gonna eventually eat into the rotor not that it isn't already uneven on this side now you could this particular car was a 2004 17 uh, Acura ILX and what I'm about to say is probably going to go for most cars you can get drilled slotted rotors with ceramic brakes and hardware for $130 front and back for this car and that's not pretty much all cars my Audi I got front rear hardware, sensors, and ceramic brakes for, I think, 180 front, back. So, it's the place out of, uh, is it Michigan? Somewhere, uh, a state near Michigan. On eBay. Drilled slotted. So, and that's what happens when you install these wrong. See, the piston was not turned this piston needed to be turned a little bit more this way. So you screw, you screw this pad because it starts wearing on an angle, as you see. It's wearing like this on an angle. And it puts pressure down on the lower area. So the top of this, top of this uh, pad is not being used. And you will notice it because you will get uneven wear on the rotor. This this just constantly would stay rusted. You're like, gee, why isn't it using the whole rotor? Alrighty then. Hey, buddy. These are a little warm still. Oh, yeah. Those are nice and, nice and toasty still. Lava rocks. Oh, look, this one's got a hole in it. Look at that. That's cool. What do you think? A little worm went something was zipping through there. This is facial hair. Loving it. Alright. So make sure you you turn the piston correctly with your tool. Generally it's one of these one of these tools, it's going to be one of these tools you'll be using. 
and you need to find generally with that with that cross one like that it's going to be the four one but uh what was the other car the vw the vw <laughs> you needed a different one none of these worked so i had to like grind i had to grind these these down so it would work because it's only doing the two because they got to be different this one didn't fit it was too fat this one didn't fit because they're too fat and this one just barely fit so i grinded them to work out you know what i mean i mean these manufacturers all gotta be idiots why can't you just do why can't you just make a four like that why are you gonna make a two two is extremely difficult for four grip spots anyhow there you go You jealous? I see you staring at my cookie. Y'all jealous about mine, aren't you? Jelly. Yours and mine. Jelly. What'd you do? Make a big snapple? Oh, it's a mouth. bit of an issue over here and that's like a right there, is this like sugar a, cookie a goldfish fart what do you mean can you eat them is it a goldfish cookie a goldfish cookie or sugar i mean sugar uh yes i believe so